five of you could have decided to go on the trip and you range and uh, accommodations and travel works out to be a total of $945. So how much is that per person? You have 945. So 945 divided by five. So that's dollars per person. Dollars per person would give you 189 per person. So uh, another friend, a sixth friend, purchases and says, oh, I want to join the trip. So they do the same arrangement, same time, right after that, and they pay 210. Notice the difference between the two. The travel agent requested 189 per person, and then for the uh, sixth one, 210. Pause the video and Try to think about why that would happen. Okay, so you have a, a price here. Did you find out what happened? If you have five people, it seems they gave some type of discount. So how much less is 189 from 210? So 210, if, it, if there is a discount, what would we multiply 210 by to get 189? So we divide both sides by 210. We have x is equal to 0 0.9. So how much smaller is that? That looks like from the full amount, that would be 10% less. So that would be a granted discount of 10%. So let's work this out for one other item. How do we do this equitably if they all six were going to go? Does the six person pay 210? We say, well, well, let's even it out. So we would add them up to 210 plus 945 is equal to 1155. So 1,155 divide that by six, you have 192.5 per person if you wanted to share it equally. Would you expect this number to be larger than the five person price, but smaller than the sixth person? And that is accurate. It's between these two.